ass and stuff back and forth. I grab him by the beard. I, I keep <laughs> like going over there. I'm going with my beard. I've got, I've got him by the beard. <laughs> I want to talk to these people. Hey! Hey! Oh my goodness. They hear you shout and they turn and look at you and they run off. Uh, what? Come on! <laughs> you know, for a stoner, it's like you've never dropped drugs before. Well, I was going to do it quietly, but <laughs> you pulled my beard. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm sorry, I was just trying to keep us on task. Nope. <laughs> Which I appreciate for. <laughs> I'm bad with being on task sometimes. <laughs> Especially this character. So you, you, you get up to the airships, you get up into the airship, and you start heading... This is super amazing. No, right? Yeah, the airship takes off. Uh, you can very clearly hear the propeller on the back of it. And it takes off. And it starts gliding towards, and I mean, you're just gaining altitude as you, as you're going. So you get up over the top of the scene, you're looking out, and you see these little horseless carts running around making noises, and they're zooming through the city. I mean, they are moving. Are those the things that you're talking about? <laughs> yeah. And so as you're going, and you start approaching the uh, Air Temple Island that you've been to before, and as you're approaching it, you notice that it's nearly full of people. Mm -hmm. Last time you were here, there was one family that lived here. Mm -hmm. It is full of people. There is active training going on. There is a crap ton of what looks like new airbenders. Oh, hey, they got more people. What? Well, ship, I'm going to try to find, like, investigate with the crew what kind of drugs they have in the world. Okay, roll for me. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. They didn't have uh, a lot of new recruits. Oh, only 11. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a 16. The crew just kind of ignore you because you're kind of short. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> so, so, awesome that they have yeah. more people. So, so you guys finally... Oh, oh, no, that's fine. Go ahead. Was there a lack of the airbenders? It was pretty much just um, Tenzin and his family when I left. Mm -hmm. That he was planning on um, ex uh, expanding out, looking for any other air air vendors that may have developed. So um, I guess he found some. But but he shouldn't have been able to develop this much in this much time. Well, I mean, they had lion turtles. Well, we got extra magic powers. That's I, true. I feel like everything. All of our expectations mm -hmm. for what we're doing mm -hmm. are turning out to be tenfold in certain things. Mm -hmm. Like my ability to get us here, mm -hmm. the ability of that family to have all the air bondage. Like I feel like something's well. I mean, something's obviously gone sideways. Otherwise, we wouldn't be that needed here to set it right. Right. Or at least have the world set itself right. These people seem pretty confident. Well, uh, yeah, I wasn't speaking to the confidence. I was just speaking to, like, bigger picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, once I get drugs, I, he won't, won't care as much. <laughs> All right, so you guys land on Air Temple Island, and the airship drops off, like, 16 more people. Mm. And you notice, as you're <coughs> walking up, that they're all airbenders. They're all trying to make little balls of air as they're walking out onto the island. That's weird because this is supposed to be like a, a hereditary trait. Like, you know, air mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, they have these um, big, like, ancient dragon creatures when they're with lion turtles and they, they give massive their, like, eyelids into themselves. Mm -hmm. And they have the ability to grant magic, so maybe that's what happened. Well, so, that's how Haley got his... So, like, I look at one of the people having trouble. Squint. Your form is sloppy. Straighten your back. Keep walking. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> That's really kind of you. That was not help. <laughs> That's not being an asshole. <laughs> I mean, that's what I do. What the fuck? <laughs> it's supposed to be hereditary. Yeah. And you think that this magic came. Does it seem like... Your form is off. Let's put it that way. <laughs> is the, is the magic being be an open? asshole? <laughs> I don't think so. I gave him advice. That was advice. Really that was just, that like, do better than fucking walking it? away. <laughs> I told him how to fix it. You have to show him the right form. He wants to know what the right form is. It wouldn't be. <laughs> you can't decide your here. form is bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's straight in your back. Okay. 
That's what's <laughs> that's what's preventing. This is all it is. It's all about <laughs> setting my teeth. It's on like it. well about cheap. Yeah, air bending is all weird, about. Uh, no, the the Tenson and his family are realizing the form. The form. If you want to learn, <laughs> you got to show them the right form. So you know, move your air bend you away. <laughs> no, I grab your head. I'll grab your head for it. <laughs> and they did have Alec. 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 I'm not saying the word right. Acolytes. Acolytes. They did have acolytes. Air, air, air nomad acolytes here. Okay. So, you know, they, they couldn't air bend, but they were keeping the culture alive. Is there any, like, old wise men around? Well, we're going to try and find Tenzin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tenzin's oh, an Tenzin. old wise man. <laughs> <laughs> So after you guys land, uh, you see Tenzin coming out, and he's in formal training robes, which mm-hmm. he was not in before. He says, we don't recognize them? You don't recognize the robes, okay. but he, you recognize Tenzin. Yeah. Uh, it does look like he's aged a bit, mm-hmm. like a couple years. When's the last time you saw him? Like a week ago. <laughs> Did we go to Hyrule from here? Yeah. No. No? No, we we made another change. We came we came to Hyrule from Shinara, so it's been a month, maybe a couple. Okay. So he's either gone through some shit and looks like he's aged a couple of years, or it's time wandering. Time wandering. I think that there was at least technical term. Yes, there has been at least one time when we portaled somewhere and the time didn't flow right. So. So so why not? Why don't we ask Tenson if this the last time we should be recalled seeing you guys? Well, so, before reading that, I greet I greet him formally and say, Greetings, it's been too long. <laughs> uh, Tenson's eyes kind of twinkle. Ah, yes, one of my star pupils. It is good to see you again. And you too, D. It has been quite some time. How long exactly? At least three years. We're real sure on a couple of months. Hello, hello, I'm Sarek. Do you guys have any medicinal hey, herbs? Hey, <laughs> I, I do have some strong herbal tea. You know what? Why medicinal. Don't you give it to, why don't we give him the herbal tea and see if that will shut him up? <laughs> sure, I can give him some herbal tea. It won't work. Okay. <laughs> Just make keep it, drinking more. It'll happen eventually. Make it like chamomile, like something. He's not stupid. Like non caffeinated tea. Okay, he's pretty stupid. Not stupid. Not that stupid. Uh, this is uh, Elizabeth, another new companion. Our last two companions. They died. Maybe. Um, <laughs> you don't know, Master Dwarf. I don't care. <laughs> so. How much did we tell him about what we were doing? <laughs> the basis? We, we were here for several months, so he generally got a good idea about us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I feel like we need a gag ball for the door. <laughs> so, it's been, been a while. It has yet. not actually been three years for us. So it seems like this world moves at a little bit faster clip than what we're used to when we're not aligned. This time? Tenzin. Yes. <laughs> this time on it's, a different world? It seems that it does sometimes. It's okay. hard to judge. So Tenzin, it has not been three years for us, so it seems like your world moves a faster rate of time than ours. Wait, wait, wait. If What about going to our own world? Will everyone we know be dead by the time we get back? No. The opposite. The opposite. Less time will have passed than we have experienced. You don't seem to know what's happening here, so is that true? <laughs> yes, because we've been back to our home world since leaving. Oh, okay, okay. Drink your tea. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, honestly, it is a good question. It has been three years <laughs> for me. Yes. There's been quite a few changes. I see. Many more people. Yes. Uh, apparently, uh, this uh, a year or so ago, we had kind of a problem. Oh, dear. Uh, we solved it, though. Uh, Cora was able to reopen both of the spirit gates. That sounds impressive. Which was amazing. Uh, she did unfortunately get cut off from her avatar. Ooh, that's not good. Not good. Formed completely. Is that still a problem? No she... anymore. No, that was fixed too. Okay, we fixed that too. Um, but... you cut off from your avatar, aren't you? What about current issues? 
Uh, current issues. Supposedly, there's something going on in the Earth Kingdom. Supposedly. We, we were just there. What? Well, we need to probably sit down and have like a, a um, when you're available, because something weird happened to our magics coming here, so we need to have a sit down and see if we can't puzzle out what exactly has been going on. Perfect. Uh, get a little bit more of a detailed response. I don't think we actually met Cora last time we were here. No, she was actually off. Yes. Is she here now? Not in the city at the moment. Ah, did I ask a question? Because I don't know. If they're if someone's cut off from their avatar, mm-hmm. do they not cease to exist? No. She was cut off from her previous avatars. All of the pre unfortunately, she no longer has the previous avatar's memories. Because Brava has been killed, more or less. That's a gift of being called. Yes. Okay. Can I become an avatar? No, you do not. It's no. something you're born with. I do believe you are. <laughs> I'm gonna say the baby lines of a, <laughs> a, a little person, right? That's dwarf. Right. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure which term you preferred. I wasn't gonna make dwarf. That's what I am. He is a dwarf. My, my world has lots of races that appear human that are not. Oh no. Your companion, who is yes. a very light complexion, yes, slash ashen complexion, <laughs> yes. And they are, you know, clearly biologically different. It's not just like a <coughs> better <coughs> term. I see. So, elf and dwarf with us now. <laughs> well, you had an elf with you last better, not a different kind of elf. <laughs> ah, okay. Humans are kind of... That explains the extreme weak. difference between the two of them. Very well, I will prepare our tea sitting room. Please join me there in about 15 minutes. Well, I will join you there. Feel free to use it to your heart's content. Do you have anything stronger than tea? Of course. Okay. <laughs> At this juncture, anything to keep it quiet. Don't <laughs> worry, I have some really good sake. I, I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll heat it up for you. I'm told that's delicious. You know, so funny thing is, is sakes that need to be heated up are on the lower end sakes. Or like high potatoes. I tried it in my weeaboo state. Like, oh man, warm sake. I have to put them in another bag. Now I'll try this. Oh my god, this is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> um, you, you don't have to have sake warm. Mm-hmm. You just have to have good sake. And good sake is good. But, um, <laughs> moving on. Moving on. So we'll, we'll get him some sake. Um, so yeah, you guys all go to the uh, tea room, which you guys have known before. You've been there. You spent quite a while. Well, you spent more time there than they did, necessarily. Right. You all sit down. Uh, a, a what looks to be a young airbending student mm-hmm. uh, in training robes, which you wore, comes in, serves tea and sake. Okay. At this time, we'll take the opportunity to explain what we know of this world since we've been here for a while. Perfect. Cool. So... Four elemental magics. They have one spiritual leader called the Avatar. The Avatar is, to the best of our knowledge, the only icon on this world. Okay. So apparently, losing her powers didn't make her not an icon anymore. Uh, it's a reincarnation thing. Okay. So I don't know if she had continued to have her powers, lost her reincarnated form, would have happened, wouldn't have happened, would have had powers. I don't know what exactly happened that cut her off from her powers. I didn't know you could be cut off from your magic powers in this world. But apparently something happened, so that's interesting. We need to find out about that. That's on our to check off list. Are we supposed to find out what's happening in the Earth world? Yes. But we don't know what exactly here is wrong that needs to be set right in order to protect this world, so we want to make sure we solve as many problems as we come across. Also, while we're having conversation, I'm going to broach the subject of spirit bending because I've come across that recently. I can apparently do that now. Tenzin's not there. Oh, I thought you were still talking. No. No, Tenzin wandered off to do whatever it was that he needed to do <coughs> with all the new We're arms. talking, you guys are talking about. Okay. We're talking about yeah. ourselves and we're I, trying we to bring were, us up to speed. We're trying to catch them up on the uh, at least broader strokes of what this place is. Gotcha. So each element has its own little nation. 
um, that has only recently started uh, integrating. Integrating. Ohio. So this particular place is not ruled by any particular element. It's just sort of here um, because there was a, a, a great many wars. And this place was founded to be a place where all of the races, all the uh, nations, nations can uh, people of all the nations can congregate and live yeah. as equals. Okay. In this city or <coughs> this particular island? This city. This city. Republic city. city. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So it's a it's a city state. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty sure that like travel wasn't cut off before, but with all the wars going on, it was just like not necessarily. Okay. How are you doing, Master Wolf? How is Sasaki? It's a little weak, but. <laughs> it's a little weak. I know. I'm mean, outdoors. And the other is. <laughs> okay, so what time? At what point does Sensei come back? Yeah. So we sit and chat and. I'm just waiting for you guys to finish your little chat, and then... Yeah, well, um, we'll, we'll go over the broad strokes, because I'm assuming that they actually, you know, know. <laughs> <laughs> just assume the door, like, I know, but yeah. <laughs> the door so, doesn't know shit. So your, your dwarf now has a general broad strokes knowledge of, of, of uh, some of the history of Avatar. All I know is that it's all mental powers, and we want to try to get one. Okay. <laughs> So, Tenzin finally comes in about 20 Just minutes honest. later, <laughs> as he's a little bit later than he actually intended to be, uh, and he's like, I apologize for being late. I had apparently more trainees show up than I anticipated, and I had to make sure I got them all seated properly. Uh, and you see, after he enters the room, uh, his daughter, Janora, comes in, and she looks markedly older than one you guys remember last time. About three years old. About three years old. Mm-hmm. How old does generally make her? <laughs> I think that puts her at 13. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure like, she was going like an old woman, just no, kind of no, older. No, no. Or... No. No, does I'm she have her tattoos yet? No, not yet. Okay. I think she was 13. <laughs> So why don't you tell us what's been going on here, and then we'll tell you what we found out since we've been gone. I'm gonna put you out there. I've got two ambitious supply. I'm gonna buy this for Um. So. Uh, well, we had issues, like I said, about a year ago. Uh, there was uh, going to be another uh, spiritual convergence event where the two spirit worlds were to align and all access to them. And unfortunately, what ended up happening is one of the... This world, so. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, Unala wanted to open the spirit gateways and allow people access to the spirits and start controlling them. But he was actually uh, planning to become an avatar himself, but he became the dark avatar. In the process, unfortunately, uh, he did sever Korra from her ancestors. Does that make him kind of like a god? No, oh, no. It would be make him an icon. <clears throat> so, oh, he, okay. so we have another icon in this world? Uh, no, he is dead. Oh, well. Was he icon? Corn defeated him. <laughs> he like was a for a short time. <laughs> for a very short time, he was. Sometimes you get that status and lose it right away. Um. What's the most coherent thing you've said? 
Yeah. Okay. Saki's not as strong. <laughs> So after that, um, Cora then left to try to. It's called harmonic convergence. There you go. That's what it was called. So spirit world open or closed currently? It is currently open. Okay. Can we go to this world? Yes, you can. Actually, Let's... if you want to go to the North or South Pole, there are gates currently open at both of them. Let's go there. That sounds fun. Sounds cold. Professor? <laughs> sounds like a plan? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> sounds like a new plan. <laughs> Why am I the only one that sounds like a I said it sounded cold. So. Yeah, I know. Um, just the same as cool, which is <laughs> slang for let's go. <laughs> Just doing <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Before we get too involved in that, what, what I, I am going to ask him about spirit bending and what that is, if he's ever heard of it. So basically, season two and season three, just season two, just season two. Yes, you guys showed up at the start of season three. Uh, yes, Tenzin goes. Yes, of course, the Avatar can do spirit bending. Um. Uh, my father, Aang, was quite adept at it. Wait, so is he the Avatar then? Because no. he can do it too. I believe I can. Um, there, it's complicated. There, there's just the one Avatar. <clears throat> yeah, but there if, is he a, can, if the Avatar can do it. Well, so. okay, but the Avatar can walk. That doesn't mean everybody that can walk is an Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> I know specifically Avatar is familiar with saying it, but okay. What? Well, my father was the Avatar. He is no more because he's passed, of course. But does that make you the avatar? No, that makes Cora the avatar. Who's Cora to you? Who just asked? Uh, how does, how, yes, I'm trying to figure out how the yeah. the, the, the yeah. when you when you die, it's re- reincarnated. Yes. So Tenzin is in no way phys- uh, blood related to Cora. No. So, so what's Tara? Tara. What's Cora. Tara. 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 What's the difference That's between an avatar and Katora, other what is Okay, but Aang's yeah, but, but the, the, uh, the avatar is, not to Korra at is all. the inheritor no of a long line of very powerful the, the, benders the, uh, and is able uh, to enter what is called the avatars. avatar state. They're not which actually means ancestors; can, they are previous. Well, well, first of all, he can oh, access all four yeah. kinds of bending, can which is unusual. That? Yes, so it's unusual, but other people can do it. What? So okay. far, it's just me and uh, Cora right now. Okay, you so can only a... do two because you were specifically granted them by a lion turtle. The avatar is a spiritual leader that can naturally do all four and is reincarnated every time that they die into one of the n- nations. 